Honorable Chief Guest, uh, Deputy Minister for Ministry of Environment and Forest, Mr. Abdullah Islam Jacob, <coughs> distinguished uh, guests on the panel, participants at the CB Attend Conference, ladies and gentlemen. I'm reminded of uh, a speaker who was speaking after a long line of other speakers who said, everything I wanted to say has been said, but not by me, so I'm going to repeat it. Don't worry, I'm not going to repeat it. Uh, but I will take this uh, opportunity to say a few words on the general issue of adaptation and knowledge sharing on adaptation, which has already been alluded to, and direct some remarks, particularly to our Honorable Chief Guest Minister and a senior colleague from the Ministry of Environment. And this is the following. In, in the context of knowledge exchange and learning and technology transfer, particularly in the climate change arena, there's a very big difference and distinction between technology transfer when it comes to mitigation, which is reducing greenhouse gas emissions, which tends to be very largely hardware oriented. It's about solar panels and wind energy. It tends to be north to south. Developed countries develop the technology and they transfer it to the south in packages, hard things. They put them in and you learn how to use them. When it comes to adaptation, that paradigm of developed countries knowing more and having to teach developing countries does not hold. Um, as Umar mentioned, the poor are often much more resilient than the rich. And adaptation is about resilience and building on resilience. And so the rich can learn much from the poor on how to be resilient. The other thing about adaptation technology is again, it is not best exported by taking experts to another country, showing them PowerPoint presentations or even videos. One doesn't really learn from that. The best way to learn about something is to go to where it is being done and spend time with the people who are doing it and learn from them. And so there was a big conference on adaptation technologies in Bonn in Germany at the UNFCC Secretariat some months ago where a number of uh, developed country and multilateral agencies uh, were telling about their adaptation technology transfer programs, one after the other, the UK, the US, um, Germany, France, UNDP, and they all have these programs of technology transfer, which are essentially consultancy contracts to consultants to fly into a country and hold a workshop on something. That really isn't building much capacity. And I stood up afterwards and I said, I have a capacity building program that doesn't involve any money at all. It involves you, whoever's interested in learning, buying a ticket and coming to Bangladesh. And when you land at the airport, I will receive you and I will look after you for the next seven days. And you tell me where you want to go and I'll take you to people who are actually doing something on the ground. They're farmers, they're fishers, they're people on the ground. They're never going to go and write a paper that you can read or fly to another country and be a consultant. But they are the ones who know how to do things because they're doing it. They're on the ground. And spend a week with them, with an interpreter, ask them questions, find out how they do this, how they do that. You need to interact with the people to understand what they've done and how they've done it. And so, when it comes to adaptation knowledge exchange and export of knowledge, you don't send the knowledge out, you bring the people who want the knowledge to where it's being developed. And it's being developed on the ground in practice. And in Bangladesh right now, there's a huge amount of adaptation practice going on, a huge amount of learning going on in different sectors, on flood tolerance, on saline tolerance, on drought tolerance, which we can share with other countries. And this is my proposal uh, to the government of Bangladesh. Already in the scientific community, we have a program called Babeshana. In the NGO program, um, community, we have a program called ARCAP, stands for Action Research on Community Adaptation in Bangladesh, who are already accumulating this knowledge and information and finding out where it's available and offering to host people to come and learn about it. We've documented almost 100 adaptation technologies already taking place in Bangladesh. We are already in discussion with the government of Bangladesh, the Department of Environment, represented here by Shokat Misa, 
who is the uh, focal point for adaptation in the CTCN, the UNFCC's technology transfer mechanism. And we are offering to the government, and I'm making this offer to both the minister and the senior additional secretary of the ministry, to help the government together in a public-private partnership promote Bangladesh's adaptation technology by inviting other people from other countries, whether it's south-south or even north to south, who want to learn about different technologies, let them come here. We will host them. We will arrange for them to go and spend time with people who know what they're doing. And thereby they will learn from Bangladesh and we will learn from them. Um, from my center side, we are planning to do a trip from a group of people from Myanmar in the next month or so, uh, sponsored by UNEP, by the United Nations Environment Program, where they're bringing us a group of people from Myanmar who have already expressed an interest in learning from Bangladesh. We'll arrange a one week long tour for them to go and see the different aspects of adaptation that are taking place here. So this idea of knowledge exchange, which Barney also mentioned that the Global Adaptation Network is promoting, is something that I think is we can think about, discuss during the, the part of the conference, the rest of the conference, and maybe at the closing session, come out with some sort of move forward, hopefully between the government and the uh, non-government sectors here, as something that we can take forward as a, as a concrete program of action coming out of this conference four days from now. With that, let me uh, wish everybody who's here for the conference a good time. I'll tell you my number one criteria for a good conference is, did you have fun? If you didn't have fun, it was a bad conference. Right? So tell me afterwards whether you had fun or not. Thank you all very much. <laughs>